Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I wanted to show you an update today with my hydroponic bean plant. We're growing right here the burpees bush bean plant. This is an organic bean that's a stringless that grows pretty small and compact and as you see it's only 50 days to maturity. Today is actually day 55 and these beans are just getting ready to be harvested soon. Then you'd still a few more days. I could I could see they're still pretty green, but you can see that it's putting on a little yellow line. So I know that it should be a nice golden wax color. So that should be ready pretty soon. And as I move along the camera, you could see there's beans all over the place here. But what's more troubling for me, I noticed just now. Let's actually zoom in. You begin to see these tiny webs right there look at that you see those spider mites moving so this plant it unfortunately got a little bit infected when I was gone look at this I see these things all over the place walking around moving and I need to take care of this immediately because it's almost harvest day and I see these things not only on the leaves damaging all the leaves Look at this damage right here. As you see, I'm wearing gloves. You want to make sure if you have any spider mites or aphids that you wear gloves and you change your clothes immediately after dealing in your greenhouse, both indoors or out. That's how you get aphids and spider mites infected all over on the other, other plants. So try to keep things contained, wear gloves, dispose of them, change your clothes, and try to take a shower right after that's what I'm gonna do but you see look at the damages all over the place so being that it's harvest day pretty soon and this plant is pretty intertwined here normally I would just run it under some water spray it down really nicely on both top and bottom look at that right there horrible just horrible and I know some of you may read some terrible things that spider mites may do to your plant and really damage it heavily. As you see, I already got a ton of leaves falling off the place all over. So what I'm going to do is basically, I just went out and purchased some neem oil from a local store that I found, a little health organic store. And I'm going to basically mix this with into a little spray bottle and spray this thing down really heavily both top and bottom of the leaves as you see they're infected not only on the top but really all around and I'm gonna really really wash this plant very well I mean the beans wash the beans very well when I harvest them and really inspect it to see if they're still gonna be edible or not and we were basically doing an experiment to see how long this plant would take to grow and being that today's day 55, the packaging is already a little bit inaccurate. And that might be for me personally, but when reading online, most people say it's around 60 days. So we got a few more days to see what happens. But tonight I'm going to mix, make this neem oil mixture, put in a little spray bottle with some water, and I might add some organic dis uh, dish detergent, like a little, just a little splash to make sure I try to cover the leaves and get it nice and soapy and it should really I think do the trick but it's not going to be a one day battle this might take some several days of spraying and when you're spraying the plant down you want to make sure you spray at the end of the day right before your lights go off if you spray it during the day the plants will be the sorry the spider mites will be still active and moving around all over so you want to do it right at the end and the soap should really kind of help to suffocate the eggs and make the eggs die off and once the the spider mice ingest some uh, most of the neem oil off of the leaves it should really mess with their hormones and make it hard much harder for them to reproduce and continue to grow so slowly they should die off but being that this is such a contained space i mean look it's right next to my cucumber plant right over here right next to my pepper plant and I even noticed it over on my on the right side over here on the lettuce and the other cucumber plant. Even went on the rat's tail plant over here, so I got a whole ton of spraying to do. 
So for now, unfortunately, this isn't not the best news, but overall, before we go, let's actually just really quickly take a look, see what these beans look like up close. Look how nice and beautiful this looks. And keep in mind, this is grown in a little glass jar, so you don't even need much to grow. And look, nice, beautiful pods. Originally, when I showed you the episode, they looked like this, really small. And look at how big and beautiful everything looks now. Minus the spider mites. So, as always, if you liked the episode or you have any questions or comments, or if you want to give me some recommendations on how you deal with your spider mites and aphids, please let me know down below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.